Welcome to 21 Knots How-To Thursdays. This is part two of the creation of a project management app. If you haven't seen part one, where we create the foundation for our app, uh, it is linked below. In this part two video, we put everything together. We review the sharing settings, we'll create tabs to access the project and timesheet objects, we will create the Lightning app and add the navigation items. We'll configure the URL-driven timesheet report. And we'll test drive our new app. Are you ready to go? Let's do this. So we have our project object, our linked timesheet object, and our report. So let's go back to setup. And we want to take a look at the sharing settings to ensure that it's available to everybody. So go to sharing settings and we should see a project and timesheet object in here. Project, timesheet, controlled by parent, controlled by parent, that's fine. Uh, the parent is the account and it's public read write and we also have opportunity should be at the top actually yeah public read write so we're fine there the next step is to create our tabs so we created the two the two objects but now we need to create the custom objects tab so we can access the object. So I'm going to go ahead and click new here. Object project. Tab style. Uh, let's give it a wrench. And that's it. Default on for all profiles. Include it in all our apps and then we want to create a new tab for our timesheet object and here we will use a I believe there's a clock in here somewhere there we go alarm clock next Default on, next, and save. So the last thing is to create an app to tie it all together. So we're gonna to go to the app manager, create a new lightning app. I'm going to call this app project, project management. You can upload a file, a little icon if you want. I'm going to leave it as is, but maybe get it a little lighter blue. There we go. Next, leave everything as is. Click on next. We want standard navigation. We don't want console. We want the app to be used on both desktop and phone. And we want a regular setup experience. Click on next. We don't want any utility items. And then these are driven by the tabs. So we've created a tab called project. We're going to add that. Timesheets. And reports. Next. I'm going to use my sysadmin profile, but here's where you would grant any user profile to your app, access to your app. Save and finish. Okay, now if everything worked right, we should now have an app called Project Management. And indeed we do, it's over here. Let me move it up there. Let's access it. Okay, recently viewed, let's create a new project. Uh, 
and let's select an account. It's tied to Abbott. And we will tie it to an opportunity. Let's just select anyone here. Project type, this is fixed price. Project started, it's ongoing. Here are two date fields. Uh, it starts on December 28th and ends on January 29th. And we've got 80 hours for the project. Save that. And now we have our project. And if we go to the related, we have timesheets. We can go ahead and click on new. We're on this, this project, so it shows up here. Consultant, if you remember, is a list of users. Task date, uh, let's say I worked on this yesterday. And I worked six and a half hours. And I can create a new timesheet. And again, this for me, task date, we're gonna do it last month. And I worked 15 hours that day, long day. And there you have it. Here we could see the calculation. So we've got, we put a total of 80 hours. Work to date, it essentially sums up the hours from our timesheet. Remaining hours, 58.50. Now, last month's timesheet, this is the specific formula that we need to modify. So if we go to reports, we want to capture the report ID of that report. So let's go here. And here is the report ID. So what you want to do is copy this report ID and we wanna go and modify that formula field over here. So we want to hit the cog one last time, go to edit object, field and relationship, last month's timesheet, and over here, you remember our formula with the asterisks. This is where we need to modify the report formula. And over here, select all of this, paste your report ID. And this particular FV0 equals, and then the ID, this is what sends it the project ID that we're on. Um, so this URL driven report sends it to this report object with that project ID and it replaces the two empty double quotes um, that we did in the formula. Okay, so that should be good. Let's go back. To our project. And if we click on the last month's timesheet, we should have that 16 hours or so that I worked in November, because we are in December right now. And there we go. Here's our November time. And you can use that for invoicing purposes. Um, so let's go back and enter another timesheet record under related for November. So let's add a record for November 9th. And I did four hours of work that day. Now, if I go back to details, I have two timesheets. 
click on last month's timesheet. And here are two timesheet records. So there you have it, a little lengthy one today, but uh, at least um, got us to create some apps with a couple tabs in it, some formulas, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Please comment below, uh, let me know uh, what you'd like to see in future series, and uh, feel free to subscribe. We release a video like this every Thursday. Thanks for watching and have a great day.